how to apply Oracle eBusiness Suite database patches. The process of applying a database patch is pretty easy in an eBusiness Suite environment. And here I have listed down the total of seven steps that illustrates that process. So the first step that you've got to do is log in to Oracle support website and search for your patch and download the patch. The second step is before you apply the patch, you've got to make sure that the O patch utility, which is what is used for applying the database patches must be there in the path. And then as a next step, which is not listed over here is you've got to make sure that the database has been shut down. So issue a shutdown command to bring down the database. Then before applying the patch, make sure that the O patch utility is in the path which you have set already but here you are verifying it by issuing a command o patch ls inventory which will list down all the patches which have been already applied on the present database plus it will also verify whether o patch is there in the path or not if o patch is not there in the path then you will get a message that o patch not found then the next step is you've got to unzip the patch that you have downloaded from Oracle support website and then run a prerequisite and conflicts check for the patch that you are applying and then go ahead and apply the patch using command o patch apply and lastly if at all there are any post patch applications then you've got to complete that and the details of those post patch application can be found under the downloaded patches readme.txt file. All right, so let's follow this step one by one. So step one, I have already completed. So here I'm gonna apply a specific patch for database, which is a prerequisite patch for upgrading from release 12.2.0 to 12.2.4. So I'm gonna minimize this and I'm straight away going to jump to the second step wherein I'm gonna export the path. So what I have first done is I have logged in as Oracle Applications Database User in the Linux environment and then I have set up the Oracle Database environment and now I'm gonna export the O patch in the path and you want to verify this then run this command which I have shown here and it will not only verify the opatch utility in the path, but also list down all the patches that have been already applied. So you can see that the list of patches plus, the good thing is it will also list you the latest or the current version of your opatch, which is there on your presently installed Oracle eBusiness Suite instance and the OUI version plus the database version details. So you can precisely see which database you are on and you can go back and make sure that the patch that you have downloaded has been downloaded for this particular database. All right, and now let's proceed to the next step. So if you go back to the presentation, the next step is unzip the patch. So I have already unzipped it. It ended up in creating a specific directory and then after it has unzipped, then you open the readme file. So the readme file looks something like this. And if you scroll down onto the readme file, there are some prerequisite. So a number of ones I have explained to you. But in addition to that, look, this is the one that we just completed. And then you have to change your directory to the patch directory. So let's do that. So change the directory. Now it is the patch directory. Now let's follow the readme. The next step is to check the patch prerequisites or conflicts if at all there are any and that is what I have explained you as a part of my presentation as well. So paste that command hit the enter button and it's going to show you if at all there are any patches prerequisites or conflicts. So there are none and it has passed and O patch succeeded. So we'll follow the readme to follow the next step. So the next step is obviously to apply the patch and it is asking us to first change the directory which we have done it already and 
then simply go ahead and apply the patch using this command o patch apply so come back and paste that command hit enter button and again hit enter you to bypass the email or username and then give on a why if you wish to be uninformed of security issues and then is the local system ready for patching yes indeed it is so give why there and now it has started the patch application and eventually it will complete depending on the size of the patch it could take longer and if the patch is smaller which is what we are on now it will be faster so as you could see the patch has been successfully applied if there were any errors then it would have shown those errors over here plus the details of those errors would have been logged under the corresponding log file now going back to our readme let's see if at all there are any post patch application so you can basically see that particular patch that you have applied in the inventory like this and then you can search for your particular patch by issuing a grep command to make sure the patch has been indeed applied something like this and hit enter and hopefully it's going to give us some entry so look at that the patch has been applied on this this date okay that if you go back to the readme and look for any post patch application steps so these are the installation part so effectively there are no post patch application step so going back to our readme file we have completed all the steps of the patch application right from downloading to setting up the environment then applying the patch and checking for post-patch application steps.